What up, what up? Gons here. In this video, we are going to talk about customer support tips. I know sometimes when we have some struggles, we want to get some help from uh, the Serato staff. And just personally from seeing how they work, it's where they are working very hard to try to answer your questions. But I feel like there's a couple ways that you can make the process a little bit smoother and a little bit more efficient. So I'm going to be here to show you how to make that happen. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. So some important things to do that I highly recommend is one of the questions is going to be what OS are you running or what operating system are you running? And more times than not, people will be like, I have no idea. So on the Mac side of things, Windows can be a little bit different, um, but just on the Mac end from what I'm using, the way you go about finding this is you go to the top left-hand corner of your screen. You're going to click on the Apple icon. And then you're going to go to this about this Mac section. Older computers might have a different kind of panel system. Um, on the bit newer ones, you're going to have a window that pops up like this. So a super important shortcut to know is how to take a screenshot. I believe on Windows, there's an actual button on your keyboard that says print screen, which will do a screen capture of your computer. Um, the shortcut key for Mac is going to be the shift command and the number three to do the entire screen or shift command and the number four. So I'm going to do that one that actually lets you do a selection of a window. So I kind of do that prompt right now. So you're going to kind of get this little target, this little crosshair. So you would click on the corner and then you're going to get a little window that pops up like this, let go. And now a screenshot just happened my face is blocking a little bit of it. So now I have a screenshot of that right there. Super helpful. So we have that already. So that gives us a bit of information as far as what's the specs of my computer. Cause that's what they're going to ask you is that. So from there, I'm going to go into Serato. So now an important thing is to find out what version you're running and some people get confused on that and it happens. So, you know, here to help. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to go to the Serato Studio icon or the little tab on the top left hand side. Click about Serato Studio and now you're going to get the version number here. So, so the same thing. I'm going to just do a little screenshot shortcut. Do a screenshot there. It's another bit of vital information. Another one as well, if you're running into issues, is you're going to go to the help section here on the top right hand corner. You're going to click on that. Before you go to get support, go to generate report. It'll give you a prompt. It's going to report to help support diagnose problems. I think a lot of people forget to do this step, and I think it's very beneficial that you do this because it helps them alleviate a lot of the processing that they have to do as far as building a baseline of what your problem could be. Again, the goal is to try to group everything together so you can eliminate like five to six to seven emails if you send all this information the first time around. Guarantee you, you'll get a much better results if you go about it like this. So now I hit continue. And it might take a little bit for it to... Uh, create this report. So once that happens, it's going to create a zip folder on your desktop. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring this down. It's going to be right here. So now if I wanted to open it to see what it looked like, if you're, I guess, curious, I'm going to open this up. And again, it gives them report, log of everything going on, report. Super important. So I figured I'd just kind of show you what's going on there. So now what you would do is create a folder and you can name whatever your issue might be. So like Serato Studio Problem. And maybe put your name on there. Gons. And then it's going to highlight all these, put it in this folder. You could go an extra step and actually just create um, a zip folder if you want. Just so in case for some reason 
the um, the folder can't read or it, they're having issues trying to get it, you can also try doing it as a zip folder. Another thing I would recommend as well is if you can do a screen record of your issue or even record it on your phone and add that video file in here as well. Again, the more information and the more whether it's visual that someone can see, it's a much easier for them to diagnose the problem and try to find a better solution for you. So for myself, when I'm trying to do a screen record, I'll actually use QuickTime. I'll open up QuickTime, go to file, and then go to screen record, which then it gives me a little window area here. And then you'll get this little section right here. You can have a count in, um, have one for like five seconds. So we'll just go for an example here. I'm gonna hit record, go into studio. I'll just kind of move around, you know, just kind of pretending what's going on. Then once I'm done, hit stop. So now there's my screen record. So that will show up on my desktop as well. I want to audition it. Might have audio on there. We'll see. Move around. Yep. You know. So there's my screen record of that. So now I can rename this as well. Serato Studio Issue. And your name. Put this in that folder. I'll delete that zip folder. Again, you can create a new zip folder of all your files there. So if they, for some reason, if they need a, another way of obtaining, depending on the size of what the video is, you can have the zip folder. But that is ultimately what you would need that would solve a lot of back and forth emails. And I think that's where the struggle is. It's, it's almost um, information that feels a bit, not redundant in a sense. It's just if you compiled them all in one email, you don't have to worry about them getting that, then asking you like, hey, what's your operating system? Oh, I don't know. Then you're back trying to find what that is. And then what version of Serato are you running? Like, oh, I forgot. And you're having to do that. And then what's the actual problem? And if you have a, if you have difficulty trying to type out exactly what it is, that's why the video is so important because it gives them at least the visual that they can kind of figure out what's going on. So again, super important information on here. Again, with that one, I could rename it computer specs again make it easy for them trust me they're answering emails all the time and if you can alleviate um a little bit of the standard kind of questions that you're going to get asked you can really try to get them to pinpoint the problem without having to go through all these extra steps um, i'll put serato serato studio version so there we got our computer specs we got the video, we have the version that we're running, and we have the system report. So hopefully that helps to alleviate some questions as far as if you're having some struggles trying to get support help or it feels like it's taking a long time or it feels like you're having a bunch of emails. I would actually do the same process for Serato DJ as well because they're going to ask you the same questions. What OS are you running? What version of Serato DJ are you running? What's the actual problem? So if you can do a recording of that um, with that one, um, I don't think they have a reporting system like they do in studio, but um, at least if you can give them those three items, it'd be super helpful. So hopefully this works out for you. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up again. Gons here. You guys have a great day.